Hi, everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the famed Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, where so many... Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. There's a straight right hand. Little head hunting with the left. Fires right back at him. Committing to the combo now. Both. That's a huge left he just scored with. Good job. It was, wow! That's a heck of a stunner right there. Down he goes. One, two, three, four, five. I give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit. But I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got off. Little head knocking with that right hand. So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself a bit. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something either bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. The Beast's doing exactly what he's always done stylistically, Teddy. Now, he was knocked down earlier, so what he always does got him in this position. Yeah, he understands his identity. He understands that, you know, he's going to win or lose the man that he is, the fighter that he is. He just has to make sure that he makes a few adaptations. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here today? Well, two aspirin and then, go, oh no, actually, I would say a little counterpunching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. I like the way he looked at the end of that round. It looks like he's gaining some momentum here. Good competitive fight, and I do believe that he's up on the scorecards. Yeah, I have it the same way. The Beast is tagged by a hook. And he ties up on the inside. To the head he goes with a left hand. Big, big shot he just scored with. And for the second time tonight, he goes down. One, two, three, four, five. Down he goes, now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, He's gonna have to grab on, kill a little time. Good right hand. <laughs> nice work doubling up that jab. And yet another big shot comes in. Wow, he goes down again. This is gonna be for the elevator fight. Up and down all night. But he's going to continue on, beating the count. The Beast left, working well that time. Piercing jab. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. The Beast is coming out here after being knocked down in the last round. Teddy, what are some of the things you look for that will tell you he's on steady ground, that he looks fine. Well, the first thing I look for is the base, the foundation. I mean, you look at a house, you want to see, and you want to make sure that that basement is solid, there's cinder blocks there. You know, you don't want to see that upper floor waving a little when there's a wind. You're looking at his legs. You want to make sure that they're steady, they're firm. Flush right hand to the head. that left right there 
Oh, and there you go. One arm hook to the body, and he is down and in bad shape. is over. The Beast is not going to hear from those judges. He's a knockout victim. Now that's how you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout, but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch? Can a guy defend?